the best thing in the show by 20 billion miles, Booker mm-hmm. T versus Kurt Angle for the WCW title. They're just having this fun-ass 10-minute world championship match. And then I don't know if Booker and Kurt ever did a world championship match in TNA. They might have. If they did, I think it would have gone out a lot like this. This felt very much like an impact title switch. Having this great match, and then like 95 things have to happen. The entire alliance runs down. The entire WWF locker room runs down. 50 guys are fighting as the two guys having the match are lying in the ring doing nothing. Canyon hits a chair shot. Like another, another four minutes go by, but that's not the finish. Then the ref gets bumped again. Austin runs out. He stuns Kurt Angle, but he is cocky, and Booker T is cocky. And Austin turns his back and stomps up the ramp, and Booker's doing the spinner rooting and posing forever. And when he goes to pick Angle up, and you know I'm watching this, obviously, on, it's on the network, and so I can see in the timer there's only like 30 seconds left. <laughs> so I don't know what the hell they're going to do with these 30 seconds. But what happens is Angle gets the ankle lock. Booker immediately taps out, and the ref calls the bell. And I thought, well, the Rucker, the ref, this is going to be a dusty finish, mm-hmm. and Booker will be DQ'd for hitting the ref and keep the belt. But no, he gives Kurt the belt, and Kurt Angle has won the WCW world title in his hometown. He has overcome all the odds, and the place is losing their minds. Dude, yeah. I remember that he was WCW champion. I didn't, I didn't remember it happened on the show, but as soon as they announced it for the main event, I was like 99% sure he was winning the title on the show. This match was fucking great. And Kurt Angle is always great, but man, winning the WCW title in his hometown in the main event, he was like extra great. And unfortunately, some of this was to the detriment of Booker T because he was so excited earlier. He threw this German suplex oh. and it was like Naito would have said, that's too dangerous. Just dropped this guy right <laughs> on his fucking neck. Almost killed him. He's doing moonsaults off the top. He's doing top rope, tippy top rope superplex. This guy was on fire. And it was like a, a Patterson booked main event. It was like they do the ref bump and then the baby face gets the visual pin. So now you think that the heel's going to win and the baby face will be screwed. But in the end, it doesn't happen and you get the happy ending. It was awesome. This was so great. It saved the whole show for me. I can't remember the exact words that Angle used when he was talking about this on an interview years ago. He said he gets excited, and sometimes he'll, he sure did. He'll pota- he'll potato somebody uh, on accident, but but just I, laying it in. I do remember in his book saying he was one of the stiffest guys in the roster, and he knew it. <laughs> yeah, and so the first German suplex he throws to Booker T, just throws him high in the air, and poor Booker T lands on the back of his head and neck. And but man, it was a good match. I got to say it was a that hell of a wrestling match. Yes, I, I cannot. I can barely handle today's WWE because it, there's just so much heat. Everything is about getting heat. And beating the baby face at the end of every single fucking show. And the funny thing is they don't even have crowds. But I'm watching this show here, and we get a happy ending, title change, baby face win in his hometown, okay? Yeah. And are you going to tell me that you don't expect the next time the WWF goes to Pittsburgh that they're going to fucking sell out immediately after this show? Of course. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to get heat on the hometown babyface to sell tickets the next time you come to town. Maybe yeah. you had to do that when you ran a town every fucking week, but when you're only going there every six months, like, what's the fucking point of beating down the hometown guy every six months so that people want to come back and see him get revenge the next time? Which, by the way, in the 20s, 2000s and 2010s, like, never fucking happened. They just got beat up again. But I watched this and I thought, man, if I were from Pittsburgh, like, they got my money for life after this show. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click Join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes. Over 300 at current count. Full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Lance Storm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.